Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is Bhupesh. Thanks for tuning in back. So today we'll be talking about uh, the Grafana AWS, uh, the Cognito LDAP integration, which we started in our last session. The part one is you know quick recap what we did in last session. We you know created a AWS user pool, Cognito user pool, and then integrated Grafana with that. Now in today's section, it is which is the part two. What we are dealing will be just creating, you know, three uh, groups basically: the Grafana group, admin, editor, and viewer, so that we can provide a role-based access. So, a quick recap: what we did. These are the certain items that we have done in this entire Grafana playlist. Maybe you can quickly check into uh, from the channel if you want to like and subscribe the channel. Please do it from from this icon, you know, so that you can get all the updates. So, today we'll be checking uh, or we'll be doing a role-based based mapping on the basis of uh, Grafana roles that they provide and then see how it works. So let's see the practical, you know, implementation of this part two of this video. If no, if anyone has not watched the part one, they can simply get into the playlist and can simply watch it. So in today's you know, video, we'll, what will be just session look for, what we'll be looking, we'll quickly see the part one documentation. Now this is the same uh, GitHub documentation page. There's no change. So first of all, we install Grafana, so that is, uh, using that Prometheus stack, uh, and then we are passing this Grafana AWS Cognito YAML file as a values file on top of your this uh, uh, GitHub uh, Prometheus stack Grafana for Grafana. What is the content of this YAML file? So let's quickly recap. So we are passing uh, Grafana and then this uh, uh, variable, which is create, which is ultimately creating a secret into my you know cluster, and then and then those uh, these environment variables are being passed to the grafana.ini file when uh, grafana pod is being spinned up so all these variables are variables are getting fairly straightforward since i'm doing it on port number 3000 so this is my root url so you can simply put into a load balancer also the rest of the things remain same this is the only thing which is being added from last session to this line number 32 so i'm creating three roles you can simply say that i'm creating admin role i'm creating editor role and then finally, a viewer role, right? So this is the only line which has the new change in this YAML file. So the things are exactly same, which we did it last time. And then, yeah, simply I'll just come here onto my GitHub page. I'll do LSMLS LTR. I'll run the same command again uh, so that my Grafana gets updated with this last, you know, this environment variable, okay? Basically. So, the time it is running so i'll come on to my uh, aws user pool page so this is my user pool that i created last time so you can see this aws grafana user was created now what i did in the meantime i created three users sam tony and viewer viewer is simply as a name so this will be acting as a viewer and then i have created three groups sorry two groups admin and an editor and what you have done for admin if you click on this admin group and I can add users to this. So for now, I've added Sam as an admin. So you can see this has been grayed out. Sam is acting as an admin. If I come here, next group, which is editor. So Tony is acting as an editor. So I can add another people who wants to get an editor. So you can see Tony is already grayed out. I can add any other person as an editor. And then viewer is simply viewer. So how I can create this piece quickly, I can come here, I can create another group, okay. Suppose marketing is my next group, okay? Marketing editor. So I can create group, something like this, right? But you need to give the same name while passing onto the into the YAML file. So, so you can create groups from here and then tag particular users to those groups from this section, okay? So, yeah, this is fairly straightforward. Just will not spend much time here. So let's see whether the Grafana has been updated or not. Yeah, Grafana has been updated. Let me see the kgp okay the grafana is up and running let me see the pc let me just quickly delete this part so that it becomes again fresh with new replica set id basically okay kgp okay so this is now getting restarted again okay kgp is nothing but cube it'll get parts you can create an alias for this Okay, so let me do a port forwarding on service. Fine, so I'll come here, I'll do a 
now uh, this will take me to take me to this uh, aws cognito page so i'll just click on this so suppose i want to log in as a viewer first so i'll just uh, log in with a viewer and i'll show you what this generally takes time okay so i'll be doing a login with viewer for again because that you know that error you saw that some sometimes they due to syncing problem okay so i have logged in with user which is not as nothing as viewer so you can create the use three users with three email ids have created my this user email id is the first email id and then you can see i have a, and the second one is for editor and third one is for you know admin so that i have used created three users uh sam as an admin tony as an editor and a viewer as a viewer right so i'm just showing you as a viewer uh, as of now so i'll just click on this profile the fauna viewer role should be visible see viewer and i'll not be able to see any more you know tabs like the administration and explore also even explore will come on to the editor so i cannot see explore and ad ex administration section in the viewer role i'll sign out this and down then i will log in with the you know editor role tony which is actually an editor for me come on tony okay so now this should be an editor i should check the profile first see this is an editor and if i click on this home i can see explore i can see administration also but i'll not be able to do anything modification on the data source because i this part is grayed out so this is acting in the editor for me now i'll sign out this i'll just log in with an uh, admin id which is sam now this is an admin user you can see this is a grafana admin and i i and i should be able to see everything see i can add data source i can do anything so this is my super user you can say so what we did a quick recap just to not waste time money for time so we created three users in this aws cognito and then uh, we tagged one of the users to admin other users to editor and the one which is not being tagged anywhere it is by default going to the viewer thing so and uh, this admin editor car here and which is the same name has been propagated in our to our configuration file see? the same configuration so so yeah this is a, a quick quick do a quick understanding of how we can map a particular user particular uh, grafana role so that we can imp impose an r back so i hope you like this video maybe just quickly do it or, or try from uh, in your local cluster and then see how it works but this is really cool to do that grafana aws um, user authentication with minimal uh you know integration from your side if everything will be done by aws cognito for you so just try it out on your system if you face any problem or issues you can simply put into the comment section i'll try to maybe give some examples how to resolve these issues but if you're not liked and subscribe the channel please do that so that you know you can get the similar kind of videos in future thanks for now you stay tuned bye bye